And today, I'm taking a look at one from BrewDog. It is their Pulp Patriot Blueberry. It is a blueberry milkshake IPA, as you can see there on the can. This one comes in with an ABV of 9.5%. So yes, 9.5%. Hadn't seen this one before from BrewDog, so looking forward to seeing how this one actually tastes. They're doing some different things over here in the States than what they're doing over um, across the pond, so to speak. This is actually from BrewDog USA, so it's part of their operation out of Columbus. And then they have locations here in uh, Cincinnati, and I think they have one either has started or is about to start in Indianapolis as well as the next place for them to actually do some things. India Pale Ale with natural flavors. Uh, Blueberry Milkshake IPA, United We Stand for Better Beer, Fiercely Defiant and Independent. Uh, dessert for the Daring is what they put on the can. Does have a date on the bottom. Always appreciate a date on the bottom of the can. Let you know about the freshness there. So this one is just a little over a month old. Actually almost two months because it's April 7th it looks like. But uh, even with them doing stuff in the States here, we don't always get the stuff on time I guess. Or at least if we did, I didn't see this previously when it came out. Shout out to Blake TV in the house. What is going on my brother? Hopefully you're doing well this evening and the internet is working good for you. Um, it sounds better than vodka. <laughs> well, it depends on all what you're into. So this one should have a nice little bit of a creaminess to it. A nice little bit of a, I would say a little bit of a juiciness there. Um, the milkshake IPAs are pretty popular. And as you get into the warmer months, they are very nice to actually enjoy as well. A little bit on this beer as they actually note the powerhouse of a double milkshake IPA is packing blueberry. Delivering intense blueberry aromas and gigantic jammy flavor up front, tailgated by citrus notes that balance out the sweetness. Milk sugar as body and rounds out the chewy delivery. Pulp Patriot, swear legion. So that's their little commercial description of the beer. Let's get this baby in a glass. Hopefully you guys are winding down from a good Sunday. Hopefully you guys are all safe and sound out there as well. Definitely have a lot of things taking place. And a beer is definitely needed. So there we go, got all 12 into the glass. In my head, I was thinking it might end up having a purplish tone, but no, it actually comes out just like you would expect on a uh, regular type beer. It's kind of got that nice golden orange type color to it. Get a nice head on there, two finger head, so that should open up the aromas nicely, which I am smelling a little bit now, not even trying, but you do have that haziness, so you can't actually see that much into the beer. Aroma-wise, nice feel of the hops. You get a little bit of a pininess, a little bit of a dankness in there as well. Definitely getting the, the notes of it being an IPA. I get a little bit of kind of that grapefruit type feel in the back end. I'm not getting as much of the blueberry coming off though that I would expect on this beer. It's kind of just like your almost typical type IPA. Get a little bit of a resiny muskiness in there as well, which is common to this type of style. Shout out to Coach as well in the house. Cheers, my friend, good to see you there. Shout out to, uh, let me see here. Trying to get my thing to scroll. The genie's in the house. Cheers. Good to see you. Uh, hopefully you're having a great Sunday as well. And uh, welcome. And then uh, let me see. We also got Eclectic in the house. Cheers, homie. Good to see you as well, my friend. So everybody kind of just hanging out tonight. Me and Eclectic were gaming a little bit earlier in a little Call of Duty. Uh, let me see here. And then uh, Clayton said, what up back to Coach? As Coach has said, what up to uh, Alan as well? And then over on D Live, also uh, Stab Wombear in the house. Is this Man Tires Beer Channel? Uh, the Man Tires? No, this is, this is Rod J Beer Ventures, but welcome. 
Thanks for uh, checking in. It's something I just started on D Live as well. So if you like beer, this is the place to be for sure. And you know, as it kind of settled in, now that the head has went down a little bit, I am getting some of the blueberry coming through. Yeah, so it is starting to come out. You know, when you pour it into the glass, you let it sit for a little bit. And as it settles in, you start to get that blueberry aroma. Taste-wise, Oh, you do get the blueberry nicely in the taste. It's got a nice balanced body on it. A nice bit of flavor left over there in the cheeks as well. Definitely again, get the feel of it being a milkshake IPA, a nice creaminess. Really lacing the inside of the mouth nicely. Goes down very easily on the back end. Even at 9.5% ABV. It's not overly heavy. It's not really a full body. It's medium to full. It almost feels like a blueberry type creamsicle so if you know the orange creamsicles then this is the same thing but almost more in a blueberry type note shout out to hans also in the house cheers my friend hopefully you're doing well this sunday evening alan said trying to navigate a time tomorrow for a political live stream with swami well that should be something interesting there to definitely check out for sure <laughs> I haven't spoke to Swami yet. Uh, I don't know what time he's looking at to do those. Is this one he's trying to look at for the round table or something? Just you guys going. Shout out to Jeremy as well in the house. Happy Sunday, my friend. Good to see you. Uh, let me see. <laughs> uh, stab ass is this is better than a Bud Light? Mm. Just about everything is better than a Bud Light. <laughs> but if you like Bud Light, you like Bud Light. It's a thin light beer. This is uh, definitely more of a craft beer. So you're going to have a little bit more on it than you would on a, something like a Bud Light. In the taste, you get a little bit of a pininess there as well. Again, indicating that feel of it being an IPA. You have that piney sensation. The one thing I'll say though, for this one, considering it's a double, a lot of your doubles give you more of a maltier type feel. This one is definitely still more around the hops than that. So it's not as malty that I'm used to with some of the double IPAs, which isn't a bad thing. It's just when you think of a double IPA, sometimes you think of it being a little bit more maltier. This one is still holding a nice hop presence. The head at this point has kind of went down to just the uh, the remnants of it or so, but it does leave a little bit of lacing there on the glass. Carbonation wise, it's nice. You get a nice prickling on the tongue from the bubbles. So, so the carbonation is slightly lively on this one. Overall, it's a nice, nice double IPA from BrewDog. Um, I know some of my friends over in the UK sometimes get a brew dog kind of some shit there just because you know they said they would never really leave from being independent they've kind of done that over there but um, as far as a beer to actually try and taste and these guys have been doing it for a while it's decent I like this one um, it's not overly sweet because you get that sweetness from the blueberry and from it being that type of style but overall it's pretty pretty solid uh, let me see. Kleptus says, I don't know. He asked about tonight. I initially agree, but I'd like to spend more time with the wife seeing that she's back to work tomorrow. Yeah, gotta get the family time in. Uh, Blaze says, Magic Water is better than Bud Light. Yeah. <laughs> Only thing worse than Bud Light is vodka and water, right, Blake? <laughs> Very good, Jeremy. Very good. <laughs> but if you're looking for something interesting out there, 
and you like IPAs, this is uh, one that you might want to check out if you like the feel of a fruity type beer as well. This one definitely does bring the blueberry. Like I said, you might want to pour it, let it sit for a bit so the flavors actually come out. But uh, it definitely represents nicely as a uh, blueberry milkshake IPA. Nice creamy feel to it and uh, pretty much smooth all around and going down. So again, this is from BrewDog. And we should be seeing more of their stuff here in the States since now they have the operations here as well. So keep an eye out for that one. And there you see on the side, dessert for the daring. So that is the beer there. Uh, shout out to Beer Man also in the house. It's Cheers Rod, Cheers Chat. Welcome brother, good to see you as well. Uh, Erie's in the house now, so what up Blake? Hey Jeremy, hope you're well. And Vanessa's in the house, and Vanessa says hi all. So hello, Vanessa as well. And Blake says cheers to Vanessa too. Blake says Erie, hashtag number one fan, of course. And I think we got everybody. So Erie is back to work tomorrow. So Alan's spending some family time. Good man. I won't try to tempt you into playing some more Call of Duty then. But if you did get freed up, I'll probably be doing that here in a little bit too. <laughs> I'll just leave that out there. But, uh... Yeah, so hopefully everybody had a good Sunday. I know it's kind of tough right now because we're seeing a lot of crazy shit out there, but it is what it is, and hopefully we'll work our way through this pretty soon. Uh, Vanessa, I have a dozen duck eggs, and I borrowed the pasta machine to make a few batches of noodles. There you go. So you're going to make the duck uh, the duck egg lasagna again? Is that what you're going to do with, with the noodles, or are you going to make like uh, spaghetti or something just use the noodles from it? Oh, uh, Clayton says I will be later. All right, well, I might still be around for a little bit. Got a couple challenges I want to do on that. I didn't, uh, I didn't get the uh, the new Hip Hop Chronicle done today just because there was just so much stuff going on. That's kind of one of the day to not focus anything with the mind. So I'll probably do that tomorrow so I can get it up for Tuesday on uh, that channel. So for those of you that started watching that one, we'll have a new one out there for this week as well. Uh, Blake said, I don't have a family. You got a family. What are you talking about, Blake? <laughs> Here he says hello to Jeannie as well. Uh, Vanessa says, I, just, I, miss, I miss Vanessa's thing here. A lasagna noodles and spaghetti noodles. Okay, so yeah, so you have both of those. Very nice. Um, Jeremy said, I watched some of the COD game today. Yeah, I did it for a few hours today just to clear the head and get away from a lot of stuff that was taking place so it was a uh, it was relaxing time and then uh eric came on for a bit and then alan eclectic beer was on for a bit so we had a little bit of fun <clears throat> blake says i wish i had a kid lol well you you said you left all your kids behind bars so erie <laughs> says she'll give you one she'll give you one of the kids that way you can see what it's like uh jeans are doing good Good luck going back to work, Erie. Maybe a ravioli even up to There you go. Some handmade ravioli. Very nice. Uh, Blake says, smash that like. I always appreciate that, my friend. One eight-year-old or six. She's ready to auction them off. Heck, or a 15 or a 17-year-old. So that's like the cliff notes. You're at the end at that point if you get a 15 or a 17-year-old. Yeah, the Blake put out, you know, the Rod J Hip Hop Chronicles. That is the other channel that I'll be sharing tomorrow. I got, I mean, on Tuesday that I'll upload. And uh, got a few ideas for what this week's episode will be about. It's got to narrow it down and uh, get that put together. Um, no, ma'am, hash brown negative. <laughs> he thought about it. He doesn't want the kids anymore. Grapefruit, but it's not about blueberry in the nose. Hmm, that beer looks nice. Yeah, it's uh, the aroma when it first came out. You didn't really get a lot of the blueberry, but you did get like the grapefruit that you usually get with like an IPA type style. Um, but when you let it sit there for about five minutes, the blueberry started to come out. So it's not as it's it's one to pour and let it sit. You know, some of these beers, the way they're actually done, just like with some of the things you'll have for like, you know, wine or I guess some of the different spirits as well. You know, you'll pour and you'll let them go ahead and air out a little bit to open them up or whatever so with this type of beer that kind of worked let it sit there for a second 
before I started drinking it, and that allowed the blueberry to catch up to everything on the nose. Here he said, not ready for work at all, planned on no school today, and worked most of the day. It worked most of the day. Worked it most of the day. Who can't talk right now? Maybe the nine and a half is getting to me. Some noodles will be thin slices for chicken and turkey soups and stew. Well, that's good as you can break it down into the different type of things that you want to do with the uh, the noodles. Here that Erie has her own line of pots and pans coming out soon. She could. She could. <laughs> she says, I do. <laughs> and the taste, she got it nice. Yeah, and the taste of blueberry definitely comes right through. So you don't miss out on anything there. Uh, Vanessa, I was going to say, I don't know if you saw my unboxing video from yesterday, but I got the new Dragon's Milk that I picked up. And it's, um, it's a Scotch Ale with... Uh, I know it's marshmallow. I would say maybe it's chocolate. I, I have to go back and look to see which one it actually is. Actually, where's my phone? I'll tell you. So I don't know if you've seen this one as of yet. But it is a Scotch Barrel A Stout with marshmallow and dark chocolate. That's the new Dragon's Milk uh, variety they just came out with. And so I'll be drinking that i just grabbed a four pack when i saw it like when i see a dragon's milk is you know some beers i just get one of them just so i can check out and do a review and stuff like that and everything when i see a dragon's milk i just pick up the four pack they're just that good and i know i'm gonna like them um when it says dark chalk fudge brownie with berries them are delicious yeah uh my j they call hash brown pots and pans lol <laughs> Oh, uh, perfect name. And Beerman said, oh my, oh, oh my rod, that sounds good. Yeah, I'm hoping it should be, it should be damn good. Well, I cooked up a bunch of rhubarb today. The sauce of them is delicious over vanilla ice cream. Uh, oh, well, thank you, Jeremy. Subscribe to Rajay's new channel. Link up above. Appreciate that, my friend. Um, I will hunt it down. I will hunt it down for that one, Rod. Yeah, this one just came out, I think, this month, sometime in May. So, in fact, when I went to... Put it in my seller list on untapped it wasn't even showing up really yet it's on there but i had to dig down deep to actually find out where it was so i would definitely i'm looking forward to this one i mean i try to get the variance as much as i can when i'm out and doing stuff obviously the last few months it was hit hit or miss when i went out because of the stuff that was shut down but um i'm looking forward to this one uh, marshmallow yum yeah i like some of the beers i've had with some of the marshmallow type feel uh hans had just described to rajay chronicle appreciated my friend and uh i'm trying to just give different perspective on things and kind of going back with um some of the stuff i had done or know or she can share and uh you know it should be a fun entertaining thing i know blake's been into it as well and checking it out and some of the other guys so it's pretty it's, it's fun it's another thing to do uh, marshmallow and collard green, only for Blake, Jeremy. Only for Blake will the marshmallow and collard green flavor be made available. <laughs> uh, Beer Man says, right, I love Dragon's Milk, LOL. Uh, eating a s'mores around fire pit with that one. Hmm, that would be a nice idea to have that around the fire pit for sure. Um, if you want to be a champion like me, smash that like. That's, I like how you worked that in there, Blake. That was awesome. Uh, Vanessa Kegerator of Dragon's Milk on patio bar height portion of wall. Yeah, that that would be nice as well. Grabbing some Dragon's Milk from the tap and then having some s'mores. Hello, well, Blake, something like that. Uh, do we get the trophy too, Blake? Good question, Ari. Good question. Uh, Beer Man, you're awesome, bro. Sounds fun, Vanessa. Love you, Blake. Cheers, of course. Oh, I missed. I slid down the thing too quickly. Of course, uh, to Erie about the trophy. And what is the name of Chronicles Channel? It's uh, it's Rod J Hip Hop Chronicles. They had put in the uh, chat above. Jeremy and Blake had um, as far as the uh, link to the channel. Um, so I don't know if it's. I think if you scroll up, you should see that there. And vodka water with. A marshmallow collard green flavor added. <laughs> no, that's not, I don't know if anybody anybody wants that, Jeremy. 
<laughs> oh, Dre says, up beer, man. Here he says, and I got hell about ketchup and grits. Yeah, but you know, collard green and marshmallow, you get hell too. So it's not like it's a competition. Both of them, we get hell. <laughs> Oh, Beerman said, hello, Jeremy. Uh, Beerman said, hey, man. And Jeremy put the link there again as well. Oh, thanks for that. She said she added it. Thank you. So, yeah. So, if you want to know about some of the origins and stuff like that and some of the different things from the Chronicles. And sooner or later, I tell some of my stories and stuff like that on the channel from my time kind of being in that little bit of a scene when I was back in college. I would definitely share that stuff as well. Uh, vodka comes in a marshmallow flavor. I th yeah, they do have the different flavors of vodka out there, which I've had some different ones as well. <sighs> it's aren't too bad. I mean, it's different. They try to do what they can to stay relevant, and people want flavors, so they try to give flavors. But hopefully this week starts better than the last as we get back. I haven't even watched any of the news from earlier today i was why why not i can't say i watched it earlier and then i stopped like me and eclectic were talking earlier i just kind of turned everything off and had to unplug for a bit so hopefully tonight will be a calmer type night out there but you know if you're out there or you're seeing stuff happen and hopefully everybody's safe and sound if you know people out there hopefully they're safe and sound and uh there's a lot of different things taking place that i guess you could put under the nefarious category so I don't know. It's just kind of crazy in so many different ways right now. But uh, hopefully we get things back on track. That's all I can say. But that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. I meant to get on for a little bit to do kind of the uh, the little review on the beer. and Share with you guys and wish you guys hopefully a happy weekend that you're all having. And then um, we'll look forward to catching up with you guys uh, later on as well. Uh, Vanessa said, I have vanilla beans and absolute vodka and let it sit a long while. Well, that's not a bad idea to let that soak it all in there um, to do that and everything. Uh, there's criminals, Rod. I mean, it, I mean, there's different, there's criminals on all, all sides out there right now doing stuff um, from, you know, some of the people that are doing the things with the acts against the the shops to what the police are doing in some spots to what the national guard is doing in some spots i've seen videos that should be bothering people in all kinds of ways so it's uh it's a lot of stuff happening but you know if you go back to our history it's pretty much how we were founded and the stuff that we've lived by pretty much there's a lot of that stuff that's happened in our history um so it's not any surprise to me some of the things that are taking place out there it's not good to see but i'm not surprised by it by any means um right on cheers rod have a good night cheers chat have a good one yeah everybody have a good one out there gilbert's in the house cheers fools a good night he came in with the hello and the goodbye in the same statement right yeah <laughs> yeah we did it for a little bit talking about the beer gilbert and i don't know if you've seen this one or you guys are getting this up there but this is one that brew dog released here in the states with you getting some of the stuff from the states up there i figured you might get that as well but um it's one of their uh, new double milkshake IPAs they did here. So an interesting one for sure. And cheers to all you guys. Hopefully, you, again, you have a great Sunday night. I look forward to catching up with you guys soon. And uh, stay safe and uh, make it a good one. Keep drinking those good craft beers. And remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers, everybody.